Good morning. For today's Samaritan Morning Checkup, we're here with Dr. Alia Burza. She's here to talk about lung cancer and diagnosis. Yes. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me here. Yes, it's very important for early detection, mm -hmm. right, for Absolutely. lung cancer? Absolutely. I cannot insist the fact that early detection is the key because you see the lung cancers, it's, it's been killing men and women and it is still killing men and women more than all the next three cancers combined. And we're talking about breast, colorectal and prostate cancer all combined. Wow. So um, it is all doom and gloom, but it doesn't have to be because this is why we want to talk about it, that it is in our interest. We have that power to change this. And you, and, and you want these screenings before you have symptoms. Exactly. When you have symptoms, you don't want to wait for that cough, that breathlessness, that blood in your cough. It's late. Mm -hmm. We want to uh, catch that very early because if you catch it early in, let's say, stage one, you have 90 to 95 percent chances of a cure. And that's huge. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yes. So, yeah, you really want to make sure that you are going and getting checked up before you show signs of any Absolutely, symptoms. Absolutely, yes. So and how do you do that? Exactly. So you have to know your risk factors. Mm -hmm. By large, the biggest risk factor is uh, cigarette smoking. So if you're a smoker, yes, you're at a higher risk for lung cancers. Even if you've stopped smoking, it's important to know that you can be at a higher risk for nearly 15 years. Mm, even if you don't smoke, but you live with the smoker, the secondhand smoke exposure is a huge risk factor. There are other things like a family history of lung cancer, um, other environmental stuff like uh, radon exposure. Places you may have worked where you know you were exposed. So you need mm -hmm. to know all that. So if you're at a higher risk, go and get yourself scanned, get yourself screened. Um, those are the low-dose CT scans that we do in our hospital all the day, all the time. And you can check with your insurance to see what age they'll start taking care of that, uh, right? Yeah, the guidelines per se is 50 and above who's okay. been a smoker or quit uh, for a, at least 15 years. Okay. And then you do have a, a kind of a, a, a unique machine the, yeah. at Samaritan, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> We're very, very excited about this new technology that we have, and it's so nice to have it. It's our robotic bronchoscopy, and it enables us to kind of go into these far-reached areas, go and diagnose, get the biopsy, and um, we can even wow. do just not the biopsy, but even the staging at the right at the same setting. And this has been quite a game changer. It's so nice to have this technology right here in our community. We don't have to refer you out or wait or or anything else, we just go get you in and um, and get to the diagnosis. Yeah, it doesn't seem very that. invasive either. You're able to uh, exactly. Go in it quickly. is not. It is not. It's just like a regular bronchoscopy with this special robotic technology. And they, it's like you're seeing everything inside. I'm, I'm amazed <laughs> with what technology has. Now. Exactly. Yeah. And this like is, you said, right here in the yes. north right country. Right here. Too. Yes. And so exciting to have it here. Mm -hmm. And we really hope to kind of push the needle to the right direction with this kind of technology. Yeah, so if you think you have those risk factors, you want to talk to your doctor about that right away Absolutely. to get screened. Thank you so much for telling us about yeah, it. Thank you. Thank that you so, so much for having me here. We do have that website up on the screen too. You can check it out for more information and of course your office number as well. Right. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back.